Hello and welcome to Financial Intelligence. In this video, I'm going to share with you four topics where Kathy Wood and Michael Burry disagree on. As you might know already, recently Michael Burry placed a large bet against Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation ETF. In response to this move, Kathy Wood called out Michael Burry on social media by tweeting a rebuttal. Kathy Wood pointed out that she does not believe that Michael Burry understands the fundamentals that are creating explosive growth and investment opportunities in the innovation space. I found it intriguing that these two successful investors have such different views on the current market situation. Therefore, I decided to do a deep dive and analyze their investment strategies. I believe that Kathy Wood's investment approach differs from that of Michael Burry's in at least four important ways. I have identified these differences by reviewing their interviews and articles online. In the rest of this video, I'm going to share with you Kathy Wood and Michael Burry's approaches to leverage social media to communicate their visions to younger investors. In this second segment, I'm going to discuss their different perspectives on new disruptive technologies. Next, I'm going to share with you their opposing views on inflation. And in the last portion of this video, I'm going to share with you their opinions on if there is a bubble in the market or not. Difference number one, leveraging social media. Kathy Wood gets much of her attention from a younger demographic that she believes appreciates the place innovation has in the world today. She is great at reaching out to her supporters through social media sites such as Twitter and YouTube and communicating her vision to these investors. Therefore, she has an enthusiastic crowd of investors who are religiously following her. For example, traders on Reddit chat rooms refer to Kathy Wood as Queen Kathy and post photos of her on a t-shirt that says, In Kathy We Trust. In contrast, Michael Burry is mostly followed by value investors and he does not have a large following among the younger crowd. Difference number two, perspective on disruptive technologies. Kathy Wood manages some of the best performing ETFs which have big holdings in tech companies such as Tesla and Zoom. ARK Funds recently shared their Big Ideas 2021 featuring 15 topics of focus that the company believes will see high growth and disruptive innovation. Among these technologies are electric vehicles, autonomous ride hailing, digital wallets, Bitcoin's fundamentals, and orbital aerospace. In contrast, Michael Burry considers some of Kathy Wood's top holdings as controversial due to their lofty valuations, with many making little or no profits. These investments remind him of the dot-com bubble and he believes that history is going to repeat itself. Difference number three, perspective on inflation. Kathy Wood believes that many established companies have short-term oriented, risk-averse shareholders. These shareholders force such companies to concentrate too much on buybacks, dividends, and boosting earnings at the expense of innovation. She argues that with aging products and services, many of these companies would be forced to cut prices to clear inventories and service their bloated debts, contributing to other deflationary forces in the economy. Therefore, Kathy Wood thinks that there is a danger of deflation. She is one of the few investors going against the grain when it comes to inflation. However, like many other market participants, Michael Burry is concerned about inflation and has warned that way more hyperinflation is coming. He has also placed a new bet 
that is going to benefit from rising inflation that I have discussed in one of my previous videos. I will link that video up here so that you can check it out. Difference number four, bubbles in bond and stock markets. Kathy Wood believes that retail traders are aiding and abating the bond bubble. She believes that most of the meme stock companies that are getting the attention of retail traders had been left for dead because they had no access to the bond market to get the funds they needed to continue their operation. While Kathy Wood thinks there is a bubble in the bond market, she does not believe that there is a bubble in the disruptive technology sector she is investing in. Unlike Kathy Wood, Michael Burry thinks there is a bubble in both markets. He considers Kathy Wood as Wall Street's biggest bubble chaser and has shorted her flagship ETF. Michael Burry believes also that there is a bubble in the bond market. In his view, the long-term interest rates are historically low. He thinks that inflation will continue to accelerate based on his observations, which will cause people to dump U.S. Treasury bonds. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any recommendation or suggestion, add them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. Thank you and take care.